EJ Whitten, Legends game number 15. What did you make of it, I'll tell you what, some of those players could still get a run in a D-grade amateurs league, maybe in regional Victoria. We've just been for a, a walk into the change rooms to talk to some of the players. Yeah. We spoke to Brian Strawn about one of the pivotal moments of the game. Oh, here we go. Peter Cameron throws it up to start. Oh, Look at the most. Oh, oh, Strawn is down already in the oh. middle. Anyone who's been to three football games would know that Strawn was targeted, and, and with good reason. Man, in the match last year, he kicked three goals, should have been four. And, uh, you know, it hasn't, it hasn't negated my influence because, you know, I've, I've been pretty amazing out there. Well, we identified him as a danger player and uh, thought that probably the best way to do it is just to take him out of the game. This is the early bounce. First bounce, oh. Rashudo just runs straight through him. Do you have any recollection of it now? I remember every second of it. And that's, that's why I got him back. I'm not sure if you saw the roundhouse I pulled in the, uh, the start of the second quarter. And uh, Rashudo doesn't even know what his name is. I said, I said hey, Rashudo. He didn't know what, what I said. He looked around and said, uh, and I said, Weedeman. Weed. And he looked around and he thought he was, he thought he was Weedeman for a while. So. Here it is on replay. Oh. It was a round arm oh. from Brian Straw. I think you've got to be happy with some of, some of your touches out there. I've got to, I'll kick the goal. I'm happy with that. Yeah. For yeah. a moment there, because you were running away from us where we were seated, we saw the back of the head. We thought Gary Ablett Jr. Did you? Yeah. I'll, yeah. Thanks for not saying Mick Martin. <laughs> I don't know if you're aware of it, but throughout your playing career, you were one of those players that if you did mark the ball inside 50, everyone in the stadium would fold their arms, lean over like they were an expert and say, you know, he was a full forward at junior level. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I did lead a goal kicking one year there, yeah. uh, just under 100 goals, so yeah, in front of goals, a lot of have a shot. Here comes Mickey Martin, opportunity oh, now for no. Robinson, Tony Montesaka. Couldn't get it to work. We did uh, notice that Mick Martin was moved off you, forward. Is that a win for you? Do you put that down as a win? It's happened all his life, hasn't it? Yeah. Always gets dragged off me, so... He won a Michael Tuck medal or something against you in the night series a while ago. Oh, did he? Oh, yeah, that's in pre-season. Yeah, they don't count. <laughs> Modra wants it long here, boys. Oh, no. oh, Mick! He sat on his head a half time! He couldn't oh. elevate Brian! Oh, no, Modra! He's lost the ability to leave the ground! Cobble, you've had the massive job tonight of playing on Sam Newman. What, what's it been like? Well, it's a pretty daunting task, isn't it? 300 game superstar and all that sort of stuff, you know. You're so, giving away a lot of height to him as well, I think. Yeah, yeah, but uh, all, all you've got to do is you've got to use whatever skill you've got, and I can run and he can't. Here we go! Here comes Newman! Newman's in front! Bristol said shot, looks okay. Maybe he should. It's there. What a goal. The big V are marching back into it. You know, am I the greatest player to pull on the Victorian Guernsey? Not for me to ask, but if you guys were going to ask that, I, I could see your point. <laughs>